Hi guys, so today's video will be on Ipsy March 2020. Um, I did get this probably last week now, but with everything going on, I haven't had a chance to actually record or whatever. So if this is something you're interested in watching, um, let's get into this bag. So if you're not familiar with Ipsy, there are three subscription types. There is the base, which is like glam bag for 12 bucks a month. And then there is a $25 glam bag plus. And then there is the ultimate, which is the $50 a month box. Um, I just choose to do the, the glam bag. I just choose to do the glam bag because it is trial size they call them deluxe size um, and I just like to try products and then if I like it then I'll invest plus they have really cool add-ons so the first thing in my my bag knocking stuff over I'm pulling out I see tons of stuff I'm just gonna set it to the side and that's it for that so this is the bag for the month of March this is Ipsy's 100th bag, which it says it right there, which is really cool. Um, I know on other videos that I've watched, this looks green, but it is kind of more of a teal green with this neon yellow tassel zipper. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, so it's cute with a little bedazzle on the front. Um, so for the hundredth bag, you actually got to pick out an extra product for one dollar. So usually there's five products in this bag, so you got six for thirteen bucks, which is not bad because some of the options were like a brush, a facial cleanser, or um, an eye product. I think it was like eyeshadow. I chose a brush, I think. So I think this is the brush. Um, but I'm not sure. I don't want to like spoiler alert. So in the in the bag, you usually get a card. So we'll pull that out. And for March, it is celebrate you. Um, and that is for March. And it says this is your invitation to celebrate our hundredth glam bag and you. Um, so you get six glam bag picks valued over $50 um, so that was it well, there's a giveaway on March 25th you get to choose a product I'll tune in so um, it looks like they gave me two which is really strange but whatever um, they're the exact same so that's fine um, so in here you get the list of the products and what their retail value for a full size is which is kind of confusing because at first I thought it was the price of the little trial size but it is for the full size version um, so there are six things listed in here and since I already pulled out this brush let's just talk about it it is the complex culture precision eyelid brush this, I heard, um, is Ipsy's collaboration brushes. Um, the bag that it actually comes in is really soft. So this is a nice uh, eyelid brush. And this grip here is very nice. It feels like silicone and it even says precision eyelid right there. This is great for my collection. So they said the retail value of this is $18 and the tip would be amp your eyeshadow up just spritz the bristles of the brush with water for a bolder color payoff which I've seen other people use like um, some sort of setting or um, spray they never mention water so I'll have to try that out something else that I pulled out uh, is this Tarte quench I seen that inside um, it's actually not listed here, so maybe there was a oopsie. It doesn't say it on here. Anyway, it's Tarte uh, Quench uh, 
by the sea product um, this is a hydrating primer which is really nice because I could have used this uh, before I, I did my makeup and I've been interested to try Tarte's products especially this one um, there's not there's a seal which is really good but I want to smell it I do smell like a light coconut maybe SPF um, but this is great. This is uh, 10 mLs or 0.33 ounces. So it's really good for traveling. Um, I talk a lot about how I use most of these products that I get from Ipsy in travel bags. Like when I'm packing to go on vacation. These are great. Especially if you're going to do something light. So those are two out of the six. Now let's dive into the bag. There's a little emblem in there sewed in. That's pretty usual for Ipsy and this neon yellow color. So what I'm pulling out here, oh this is cute. This uh, says uh, Wander Beauty, which is on the list. Wander Beauty eyeshadow in bouquet. So it's tiny, but it's perfect for traveling and just for trying out um, like Wander Beauty or any eyeshadow looks. So this is in the color Bouquet. A tip for this is this powder shadow actually goes on best with your bare finger. So just dab and blend. A full size of this would be $25. Let's get this tab off. So I did get Wander Beauty um, the the duo which I think was uh, with my boxy charm and I still haven't tried it yet so but I do love eyeshadows so let's let's check this color out oh this is really pretty grease proof fade proof instant payoff it is like a gold shimmer and let's give it a swatch yep that's nice very nice very nice as an eyeshadow I, you could probably use it as a highlight I'm sure um, okay so let's dive in next thing I found is uh, Grace and Stella it says do your skin a favor and use me so this is lavender lotion I did get their blackhead um, before so this is nice also great travel size so this is one fluid ounce and full size for this would be fifteen dollars wow and I love anything lavender and there's also a seal on there but this is great next product oh this is so tiny look at how look at how cute this is oh my god it's so cute okay awake um awake lip therapy lip mask um which is oh my gosh it doesn't really smell like anything i hope it's not supposed to um so it says after a long winter our lips really need some tlc uh, tip for this is keep this mask on your nightstand and slather it on to clean lips then get some beauty rest full size for this little guy would be twenty dollars this is super cute with the little mask on there i like that and i'll probably keep that by my bedside or put it in my travel bag both really great options um let's see what else do we have Oh, this looks like a uh, Yamaska. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. I'm so sorry. Um, I've seen their stuff all over. This is a liquid eyeliner. Uh, a tip, store your felt tip eyeliners upside down to make them last longer without drying. Full size version of this would be $22. And this is um, pretty sure in the color black. Let's see, where, yep, black, it says it right there. 
in the color black let's just do a little oh yeah that feels really like smooth too i love eyeliners so great to add and i think last product in here oh generation clay brightening purple clay mask um i have one of these i got it in my fab fit fun i believe um so this is in the one ounce size full size product would be 29.99 these are really great for like sunday um if you just want to do like a good skin routine once a week this is really good so their tip is rinse the mask off right as it begins to tighten but still feels slightly wet which is in about 10 minutes the packaging is so nice and purple and pretty like this is really nice and again i will use so those are all the products that i got in my bag i think it was a really good bag generally <laughs> happy with my ipsy bags um I never have a problem they're always something new that I can try and add to my collection which is what it really is about um, I have my boxy charm for something else so that's it for uh, my ipsy bag I just wanted to briefly talk about these brushes that I got um, the other day they were having these Juno & Co um, brushes all the brushes were three dollars I got three brushes and I just wanted to add this to my video so I did get a flat packer brush and it has like this uh, rose gold coloring to it so the it's a large flat packer brush you use to evenly pack on color to the lid um, let's just open it up I'm like super obsessed with eyeshadow and eye brushes so there it is it is really tiny but it has a nice feel to it so we will add that and then the second one here is a fluffy blending brush and I will say it did take a little long to get these brushes but understandably when we have a lot going on in this country so it is a fluffy brush when you're painting, like a little painting brush. That's kind of how it feels. Um, so the tip with this one is this tapered fluffy blending brush can be used to evenly distribute eyeshadow in the eye crease. And then the last brush that I got was the over uh, the oval detail blender brush. Um, so this one is densely packed oval kabuki brush to help buff out and blend. Cool. And actually in the little insert, it gives you a list of all the brushes and their names, which I will keep. They even come in the little tiny one too, which is cool. But that one actually has more detail. So let's just take a look really quickly at this brush. And it is oval shaped kabuki type that's nice anyway they feel great so uh that's it for today and thanks so much for watching guys don't forget to hit the like and subscribe comment down below if you got your ipsy bag um, and if you haven't joined ipsy i will leave the link down below i only get ipsy points for these referrals but um you might enjoy Ipsy yourself and have a great day guys.